I feel like like people say things like, oh, you know, you're taking over or you're taking on this thing. And I feel like it's like it's like a like a sandbox of toys. And I feel like somebody leaves the sandbox and then I walk in and I'm in charge of like all of the sort of, you know, the characters and stuff like that for the for the brief period. I'm in the sandbox and then I get out of the sandbox and someone else gets in. What am I still doing this for? Nerderotic.com. So you remember I Am Not Starfire from last week, right? That wonderful image. And that was on the heels of the uh, wonderful image of uh, Captain Marvel, on the heels of uh, Fat Wonder Woman, on the heels of uh, Snowflake and Safe Space. Well, DC has a solution for you. DC is going to turn things around. Mariko Tamaki is now going to um, write one of the oldest and longest running comic book series of all time, Detective Comics. Why? DC names new Detective Comics creative team. DC reveals who will be writing and drawing Detective Comics when comic book's longest tenured ongoing series returns in March. Continuing an expected trend, Sunday afternoon DC revealed writer Mariko Tamaki and artist Dan Mora will be the new creative team for Detective Comics when the ongoing series returns to the publisher's schedule with issue 1034 on March 24th. And like almost all the DC titles launched or returning after future state revealed so far, Tamaki and Mora are reunited as its creative team after pairing on the lead Bruce Wayne feature in January and February's Future State, Dark Detective Anthology Limited series. Tamaki and Mora previously teamed up for a contemporary Batman Bruce Wayne story, The Gift, for the Celebration Anthology format, Detective Comics 1027, earlier in 2020. Uh, Newsarama has already confirmed James Tinian, the, uh, is that fourth or fifth, and Jorge Jimenez, will continue as the creative team on the flagship Batman title. Mariko Tamaki. She's a YA writer who came in. Uh, your boy Zach has reviewed a lot of her books. I think he's even liked some of them. I don't think this is going to help. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this isn't going to help. That's why I haven't really done any comic book videos lately because it's, it's just depressing how disconnected and how petty they are in this industry and it's always been kind of a petty industry, but it succeeded despite itself. But now it's flaws are exposed and they are a gaping wound. And while comic shops had the power to stop stuff like this and fine, write the book. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me anymore. For one, there are, if you need a female writer, there are uh, ones out there still that are better than Mariko Tamaki. Uh, they really pushed hard for this YA thing. And that was because of Scholastic. Well, the Scholastic bubble has burst partially because you can't send kids to school anymore. So you don't, uh, you don't have that uh, captive audience. And what the industry has been doing is conflating man manga sales and sales from these YA novels which I don't, I don't know how well they're going to sell now. Uh, as far as bookstores are concerned, I think some, I, they're open here where I am. So you can go in to a bookstore and buy them. Uh, but I had a brief conversation two weeks ago. Some of you may have heard that I talked to a comic shop owner here in San Diego who had his best year ever because he was selling back issues like they're going out of style. And it's not just key back issues. It's all back issues and anything from about, 10 to 15 years ago and down best year ever. He still sells new comics, but his philosophy on it, that, that, that market hasn't grown, will not grow. You'll sell the same ones to the same people until those people age out, burn out. Uh, it, it, cause it inevitably happens. Uh, and what's really driving the market still is, uh, what's left of the speculators with variants, uh, which hasn't changed since I left, and that's six years ago now. And the other is completionists, you know, collectors who just have to have every issue. And, and I understand it's an OCD thing that I completely understand. Uh, but you know what? Hey, she has every right to write this book. She took a job. I don't blame her. I blame DC. I blame DC. Uh, and good luck. We'll see how those sales do. Um, as and I went over it yesterday, and I believe... 
the last detective came, uh, comic that came out while stores were still open. It sold roughly 40,000 copies. Uh, that's, that's including all the variants. Now, what they do, if you're not familiar with comic books, is they'll put a different cover on the same book. So you buy five of the same books, uh, five of the same book. And depending on your amount of variants, it's usually, well, it used to be one or two. Now it's between five and 20. I don't know. Uh, but if you go to how many books sold, how many books were read? Okay. Not how many books were sold, how many books were actually read. And by the way, that number I gave you was, that's the number comic shops order. That's not the amount actually sold out of the 40,000. I estimate 30,000 were sold because it's a Batman title. I'll aim a little high. And I estimate 18 to 20,000 were actually read. Individual issues were read. So in reality, Detective Comics was selling about 20,000 books. They, they have to rely on gimmicks. And these aren't even good gimmicks. I mean, I long for the gimmicks of the 90s with the foil cover or the embossed cover or the Ramones cassette tape in a poly bag. Those were the good old days. Uh, but congratulations, Mariko T Tamaki. I'm sure you earned that position. Mariko Tamaki uh, got her job because uh, she was a female YA writer and they haven't been able to find any female comic book writers because there's not enough women actually into comic books. If there was that many women in comic books, they, uh, superhero comic books, floppy superhero comic books who were interested in writing superhero stories uh you know gail simone as much as i don't like her was capable of doing that in the past uh but what has happened is there are platforms now everything's a mother effing platform so i have no time for it not going to spend and and again former comic shop owner lifelong comic book fan i have thousands of comic books plenty i haven't read that can last me the rest of my life and quite frankly looking for back issues is a lot more fun than reading the garbage now if you like what i do here please consider subscribing to the channel and liking and sharing the videos it really does help and if you did this with your favorite youtuber as well i'm sure they would appreciate it as much as i do